Once upon a time, the goal was to launch a new website. Uh, website development was all about launching a shiny new website. That should just be the start of the story, really. It's not the end. Website should evolve. Your website, website should allow you to react quickly to changing goals. And the CMS should provide access to all your data wherever you might need it, whether that's from a website or from with an app on a mobile device. Drupal 9 is the culmination of um, a change in the community development process that, that built Drupal. Um, when we introduced Drupal 8 about five years ago, uh, we moved to a model of continuous innovation where new features have been added every six months that greatly enhance the user experience. There's no licensing fees for Drupal itself. We do recommend working with experts, and of course there's always a cost associated with that, but the cost is directly related to building your use case and your site and not uh, just taking up those budgets with ongoing fees. So I think it's a really, some really powerful reasons to, to put Drupal at the top of your list. To Drupal 9 is, talk about, is a migration path, but there's, there's a lot of change to be made. And for the customers going from 8 to 9, that's straightforward. And that's part of what Drupal 8 addressed and moving to 9, it continues on, on that tradition of making it much easier to upgrade. Uh, the layout builder is amazing. The media manager is amazing. Having, having one stable um, editor is really good. The workflows are nice to have if you're in, big, in a big organization. For me, the layout builder and the media manager are proper magic. Uh, and uh, I've, I've got to applaud uh, the Drupal core team for what they've done. So you can't design something for users if you don't know who they are. Start with, use, with quantitative research and look into your existing analytics to develop some hypothesis around what issues people may be experiencing on the site and why. So here we ask what, what does the hard data tell us? What, is, what are the most important um, or popular pages or the least accessed pages and what are people looking for? Qualitative research, so whether this is in-depth user interviews or user studies, they help you go deeper to listen and get insights and test all your newly formed hypotheses. So when you're thinking about content strategy, you do need to think about the knock-on impact of any of these decisions you make. I mean, just like content, interaction design and web performance, accessibility is a core consideration when creating and running websites. It's, it's really heartening to hear um, that a lot of the work that Drupal's been doing around accessibility will help support this because improving the usability for everyone on the web um, is important. And it, it includes four broad parameters that you can see here. One is visual, making it easy for people to see content, auditory, making it easy for them to hear, making it easy for people to use, and cognitive, making it easy for people to understand. Looking at Drupal 9, it's a much smaller code base um, than Drupal 7 and Drupal 8 or below. Um, and a lot of the, the older sort of um, legacy code has been removed or depreciated as code. So uh, the in terms of the security community looking at Drupal 9, it's getting a lot of attention, which is a good thing. Um, as mentioned by Tim and, and the other speakers, um, it's open source and the security community is all over it. Um, and there are patches and updates all of the time. So um, going forward, let alone the features and the functionality to assure that security picture and plan going forward, uh, you know, Drupal 9 is a sensible move with that sort of security uh, focus on. So, you know, very much make upgrading to Drupal 9 a priority, you know, start now. I think ultimately you need to have a strategy. Um, that's what I would say. I think the other panelists have covered the bits of the process really well. You, you need to have a, a UX strategy, a, um, a migration strategy, a content strategy, as well as a usability um, and even security strategy. So once you have all of those strategies in place, that will be the, and of course the timeline and budgets and resource as well, um, as well as like, you know, the partners that you're going to use, whether you're going to do it in-house or work with, with an, a digital agency like Cyberduck, 